guys, welcome back to the channel. Anyway, today, so we are going to take a trip up to my friends in Stoke-on-Trent. Uh, he does a lot of mobile valeting and uh, detailing and stuff on cars. So he's going to give the Evo a good look over, proper decent clean, because I'll try and turn the camera in a minute and show you, but there is some like marring on the side of the doors and stuff, but you know, <coughs> it is what it is and we'll see what he can do with it. So it's pretty hard to see some of this marring, but yeah, it's all the way along like the uh, the tops of the doors sort of there's a patch there it's really hard to see but I'm guessing at some point when this car was in Japan yeah and it's pretty crotty around the spoiler anyway when it was in Japan I'm guessing it spent some time like just sitting in the like I don't know out, outside elements under a cover who knows but hopefully today we'll see if we can shift some of it or see whether it needs a real good decent going over or any paint doing to it see you in a bit Currently just trotting up the M6, about uh, 40 minutes away from Ted's. Wow, what a journey I tell you. Everyone loves a hot summer's day in the UK but oh my god, trying to save a bit of fuel, keeping the aircon off, probably not the best idea for keeping me cool but whatever. It's uh, dropping the fuel from disappearing literally out the tank and off the gauge as I just drive. Uh, keeping it off the boost helps but anyway. What is this stuff, Ted? Um, it's just sort of like, like a citrus based um, okay. bug remover. Ah, right, okay. Because it just breaks down like any natural. You've got all these horrible bits. Oily bits in of there. Like bugs, and then like bird poo, any natural contaminants. So I don't really want there by the time I touch a paper. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. No foam. I mean, I can clean my car myself, but um, Ted started a little business doing this mobile, and uh, or you can bring your car up to him. He does like proper full details with proper paint corrections and ceramic coatings and stuff. Um, I'll put a link and stuff in the description on the video, um, and uh, obviously probably get a picture or something of, of the website and different things.
So at this point, uh, Ted's just using some spot-on type uh, remover, which is quite a um, aggressive remover to try and get rid of some of this oxidization and staining and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, as we later realised, it was not going to work regardless of what we were doing uh, because it was actually underneath the ceramic coating. So at some point, as I'll say later, I'm sure we're going to have to try and whip that coating off to try and get all that grime and grot from off around the bottom of the spoiler. Else otherwise, it ain't going nowhere. today was according to Ted so down the side of this car on here all the way along it there's like I don't know it's hard to see you probably won't see it at all on this camera but there's marks like little sort of faded brown like marring marks all there on the paint and stuff and uh, so the outcome of it is basically the car has been ceramic coated by a company in the past that the previous owner had do it and cost him a lot of money to be honest uh, but they didn't obviously like two stage machine polish the car to get the paint perfect before they put a cone on so basically the outcome is is that the car is going to need another two stage polish because as you can probably see actually on this side yeah you can see some of it there all these weird marks so it's all what we reckon is like a sort of dirt and grime and just yeah dirty hands whatever from when the car was maybe in Japan um, it's got the same on these little bits here that's just like um, oxidization from years of like rain and God knows what um, it's a few bits there's another bit there it's all around the spoiler but you see trouble is it's now underneath a ceramic coating so this part here uh, I don't know if I'm picking that up right or not this part was cleaned off today because obviously that didn't get ceramic coated so yeah it's going to be stripped back and then re-ceramic coating it I think um, after it's had a good treatment so until then I will do another video at some point Tuesday I think on uh, well wait and see anyway till then see you later